Hi, it's Diane again. I'm showing some smash books that I made some time ago that I'm going to be listing in my Etsy shop, Pretty Pink Cottage. And um, I'm working on making some more junk journals to stock in my store, but for now, I thought I'd pull these smash books out and uh, get them in the shop. Maybe someone would be interested in them. I'm calling this one Everyday Moments because the sticker here says, Everyday Moments Become Cherished Memories. And down here, the paper says celebrate and special. So this is made with a hardcover book, very thick, and it's covered with patterned paper. And it has this little tag on it that I stamped enjoy. Let me measure this for you. I don't have the number of pages. It's about seven and a quarter by ten and a quarter, almost ten and a half. So it's a good size. Uh, a smash book, if you don't know what a smash book is, you can um, find YouTube videos of K & Company smash books and homemade smash books, and I used to make a lot of them. And I sold quite a few in a little shop, and I love them. But they're basically a scrapbook. You can put your photos and other types of memorabilia in, tickets and all kinds of things. So I'll just try to go through this rather quickly. This little arrow layered arrow that says this way was cut with my Cricut. I believe that most of this paper is from an authentic collection, which I made this several years ago, so I don't know the name of the collection anymore, but it has a denim look to it. And it is double-sided. This looks white, but it does have pattern, has color on it. But the, the paper is double-sided. Here is a piece of acetate. Try to get this where you can actually see the whole thing. This has a place for journaling. It's stamped on there. So that's great for putting photos on. This says happiness is in the journey, not the destination. And um, pockets for putting more memorabilia in, postcards and programs and whatnot journaling spot there. This funky little tag was cut with my Cricut. And I just glued some pieces to it for journaling on. This has some a variety of washi tape decorating the blank side of the page. This piece was cut with my Cricut and there's a journaling card on it on both sides. Celebrate life. This is part of the paper. It's a paper clip just clipped on here so you can attach something and then it has some stamps here. This is from a DCWV paper line and it has a little scrap of a bow bunny shaped paper on there and then I stamped up here. So it's, I left lots of room for putting photos and this page has lines on it so this could be journaled journaled on. So there's lots of room for adding your own photos and memorabilia, but also places for journaling about the photos and whatnot. This is a tag that I stamped on. This one has a border punch piece of paper on it and a tab. Also another border punch and a tag that I printed from the internet. This is all part of the paper. It's all printed on here. It says fly free. And this isn't the authentic. This and this came with the same line. This might have been this one too. But as I said, I don't I love this paper, but I don't know the name of it. It looks like it was used for art journaling. This is part of that paper line also. Some washi tape and some cards tucked in this pocket. This one is a little folder that opens up. A library pocket here. And this tag was made with my Cricut. And I don't know the name of that cartridge. If you want to know, ask me and I'll find it. Um, this pocket. I think the library pockets are from the tags, bags, boxes, and more cartridge and these long 
tags are from that cartridge. So the pocket says my favorites and then I put these tags in it so you can write your favorite songs or foods or movies or whatever you want to write on those little tags. I thought they were fun. Looks like embroidered denim here. Imagination. This is a little tiny pocket with a little tag in it for journaling. Just made with a scrap of the paper. It's another piece of the lined paper and I border punched it. Edge punched it, I should say, I guess. This one has some shaped paper clips. And they're holding this that I printed from the internet. It has like a schedule and another paper clip up here. There is only one happiness in life, to love and to be loved. This is stapled on. This is from a K and Company paper, paper pad. Dream big. This is a damask denim. This shape I got from my Cricut. I should use my Cricut more. I used it a lot when I was making Smashbooks. This has a, uh, this card glued on as a pocket. And this has a journaling spot about a concert that you attended, and there's a little ticket there. I have a stamp of this. It's a large, obviously a large stamp from Stampin' Up. So I stamp that on this page. It looks pretty cute there. And then we have this envelope with more goodies. Things cut with my Cricut little label, this arrow. This was cut with my Cricut and some just some pieces that were cut from scrapbook paper lines. There's a little arrow that I cut from corrugated paper. So there's lots of goodies in there that can be used in the smash book. And then there's a library pocket that actually came from a library book. I love the shape of it with that tall back, but it was marked up pretty badly, so I covered it. And I put a library card in there and this little card, journaling card. So this is the Everyday Moments Smash Book, which will be listed on my Etsy, in my Etsy store, Pretty Pink Cottage. Thanks for watching.